Now let's look back at number 60 for a second. We had to multiply one of the equations by negative 1 to set it up for the actual elimination process. Well, if we want to do number 71 by elimination, it's not quite so simple that we just multiply one equation by something. Okay, because um, if, you, if you look at it, you can't really multiply the first equation by something so that either x or y is the opposite of um, the other equation, but it turns out you can multiply both equations. Okay, you can multiply both equations. Uh, now in this case, I'm probably going to try and eliminate the y's. Just because if I try and eliminate the x's, uh, my numbers are going are, are to get a lot bigger because the least common multiple of 8 and 10 uh, would be, what, 40? I think it's 40. That's the least common multiple. So I'm going to end up with much bigger numbers than if I tried to eliminate y, where 2 and 3, their least common multiple is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3, um, and the second equation by 2. Now I need to make one of those negative. And the reason why is because y has the same sign in both equations. So right now, even if I multiply it, um, it's not going to eliminate. So which one do you want to put the negative on? Negative 2? Okay. It really doesn't matter. Um, so let's multiply that one by negative 2. So I go over here to the side. I think it's helpful to completely rewrite everything. Multiply everything in that first equation by 3. So we've got 24x minus 6y is equal to 6. That's the thing that the majority of people will forget. That's where the errors come in. They forget to multiply that constant on the right side by whatever you're multiplying. So you got to remember to do that. Multiply the second one by negative 2. So we've got negative 20x plus 6y is equal to negative 6. So when we add, all right, 24 plus negative 20, it's like subtracting 20, so that's 4x, negative 6y plus 6y is 0. The reason why I say that every time is because you've got to make sure that it really does eliminate. Okay, You have to make sure that it really does cancel um, and that you're not just assuming that it does because you did what you were supposed to do. Um, and it turns out that our constants cancel as well. 6 plus negative 6 is 0. So we've got 4x is 0. Well, the only way that that's possible is if x itself is 0. Now, don't automatically assume that y is 0. Okay? That did happen with a few of our equations uh, a couple days ago, but I don't think that's the case here. You can plug it into either one of the equations. Um, I think going back to the originals, I think the very first one is the easier one to plug into because it does have slightly smaller numbers, but really it's not a big difference here um, because the x term cancels out. 8 times 0 is 0, so divide by negative 2, y is equal to negative 1. So x is 0, y is negative 1. Um, now, it has not happened... I, I don't know that we've honestly had a problem where we have found y first. Okay, but just be careful that if you find y first when you're writing your answer, that you still list it x, y, not just in the order that you found the two answers. Okay, sometimes that, that can happen. People can get a little, little mixed up there, so I just want to warn you about that. 